What is up? Welcome to the show. This is the Crazy Creative Podcast, episode 22, with my buddy Bobby Kane, a fellow Central Connecticut State University design alum. Hey, what's, what's up, on? buddy? Uh, before we get started, though, I'm going to shout out my two sponsors, CrossFit Hartford, two of my favorite things, uh, lifting weights. Um, I love working out. It's been a passion of mine for a long time, and uh, I fell in love with CrossFit a few years ago. I've uh, been back and forth to a couple of gyms and uh, found CrossFit Hartford recently, and uh, they've got the uh, best coaching staff in the Hartford area. And if uh, you're interested in something like that, definitely check them out, CrossFitHartford.com. I've also got a, uh, a tile for their website uh, on my website. You'll see it on the left. I've got some links. Also, I want to shout out to Scott Reynolds and his crew, the Hartford Adobe User Group. Uh, he runs a meetup once a month. Uh, should be happening tomorrow, actually. So you'll probably miss it. So check out next month. They meet up once a month, uh, talk about design stuff, uh, issues with design, updates in the software. He usually gets a speaker to come in and talk about any a specific area. And it's a great networking opportunity for designers, people that want to become designers or want to uh, get some more experience or network with folks out there, maybe get some unemployment or... Uh, you know, uh, freelance opportunities. So check that out. That's meetup.com forward slash Hartford Adobe. And that's it, man. That's, that's it for my little, my little intro here. Nice. So like I said, we're here in Bristol in your pad. Yes. So Let's what you've been up to? Um, S- since, uh, since central, you've been, you've been pretty busy. You're a kick yeah. ass. You were a pretty kick ass designer in school. I remember you were one of, one of the best ones. Uh, <laughs> I remember uh, portfolio day going through, yeah. like you could see like, all right, Who's gonna, who's gonna go on to kick some ass and yeah, definitely. who might not? Yeah, and, uh, I remember those, <laughs> those days. <yeah. laughs> well, I'm glad to see uh, you know you're you're still there and you're still uh, sticking with it. Yeah, you yeah, uh, too. you were working. Uh, where was it? Were you working first out of school? Uh, out of school first was um, just a smaller company in Wallingford, Connecticut. Okay. Um, it was only about four of us. Okay. So I got that gig right, right out of school. Um, did that for a year. Um, got right into it, which is good. Just like building stuff and sure. Um, Digital print, both. Um, both actually. Okay. Uh, it was it was a nice like intro because it was it was both you know. Was sure. Like a bunch of print stuff, um, but it was a lot of web stuff too. So. Oh, cool. Yeah, it was cool. And then after that, um, went to another agency, slightly larger, uh, a little bit newer. Um, I thought that they were like producing a lot better stuff. So I moved over there and then I was there for three years and then uh, went to ESPN uh, last year in August and uh, worked on the redesign that launched in April of this year. So that was Redesign of what? Like uh, the entire ESPN.com. Oh, wow. So like there's still a bunch of outstanding, you know, sections of the site because it's so big. But yeah, um, yeah, definitely. That was cool. There was... um, it's a lot of stuff you learn more working in like an atmosphere like that. Sure. Such a big site with, you know, billions of, of users and, yeah, 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 yeah. and viewers. So that was, uh, that was definitely an experience. Um, and now I'm actually kind of freelancing full time. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. I'm trying to do that myself. Yeah. Hence Follow, the show. Just following, in your following me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's the, the best thing to do, but, uh, yeah. what, how's it going? Uh, so it actually starts this week. Uh, I have another contract gig with a company, Boston based company. Um, so that actually will start tomorrow. Nice. I believe. So as long as I get the work, you know, I'll be working tomorrow. Cool. And then is that print also or no, print and web? web stuff. Oh, nice. Uh, there might be some, some print because they're, the company just went under like a huge rebranding. Okay. And so part of my role is to pretty much rebrand everything right now digital um but there might be some print stuff like okay um here and there so um so yeah i guess i'll have to see yeah so you're uh, would you consider yourself mostly like a, a web designer yeah. uh digital yeah. designer yeah uh web design um i can do uh like some front end stuff okay so that's always useful okay yeah cool now what's uh not, what, what's your web? Do you have a website and stuff? Uh, yeah, everything is Bobby J Kane. Chat so, Bobby J Kane. Yeah, so Bobby J Kane dot com. Uh, Twitter is Bobby J Kane. Dribble is Bobby J Kane. Everything. If you want to look me up online, yeah. it's, it's Bobby J Kane. So check it out, Bobby J Kane. <laughs> That's right. 
Gotta get you. Keep you going, man. All right. Uh, get some get some people call you up. Yeah. Get some good design work. Go for it. Yeah, man. That's awesome. So, uh, what was ESPN like? That was must have been a pretty cool gig, huh? Yeah, it was. It was so one I've of the biggest con- companies in the in the world, world right? Leader in sports. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, right, right in the backyard. Yeah, it was. Uh, I mean. It was it was a place that you always drive by, you know. Like yeah. I've been living. I grew up in Connecticut, so sure. In Southington, a town right over. Okay. So, you know this uh, ESPN, and um, that's pretty much all Connecticut has. At least in this. So there's like area. ESPN, and there's like a bunch of insurance companies. Insurance, yeah. and Hartford, there's GE. Yeah. Um, a couple, couple occasions for GE, but. Um, I always thought ESPN was cool, like um, driving by, seeing the big sign, and yeah, yeah, you know, then watching Monday Night Football or yeah, definitely. It was, so knowing that it was happening, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 right there. So. Are you a big sports guy? I'm um, definitely a sports fan. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm a sports fanatic. Gotcha. You know? So yeah. like, uh, football is definitely what I follow the most. Okay. Um, I like tennis, like U.S. Opens on now. Okay. So I've been watching that. Um, but like, I wouldn't know where people went to school. You yeah, know, right, right, right. Okay. Their, you know, their stats, stats and stuff. From yeah. Last year, gotcha. You know, so, yeah, I, I got some buddies who can recite that thing. Gotcha. Now, do you have that. to be pretty sports savvy to go work there? Or? For this role, you didn't. Okay. Um, I was semi concerned about that, like going into it, because I knew my status of sports. And, you know, even though I'm a fan, I didn't, I couldn't, like, do the things like reciting where people went to school or Sure, like, sure, sure. Um, and I, I think I generally I was pretty comfortable with it, but they were just like, what's your background in sports? Oh, okay. And that was pretty much it. Gotcha. Like if you go for different positions there, you obviously have to know a lot more, but sure. um, I was pretty safe with uh, <laughs> with my knowledge. Gotcha. So. I know like, there's always jobs uh, posted for ESPN. I'm trying to think, but you could have like, so many like divisions, right? I yeah, mean, there's, there's a ton of, there's mm-hmm. like 14, 15, 17 buildings or something. And, wow. Uh, yeah, they just bought one, I think, that's across the street that uh, isn't really a part of the campus, but they like bought it and redid it and oh, wow. they're housing some people over there, I think. No so, way. Yeah. Huh. Growing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, what made you decide you wanted to jump? Um, you wanted to do your own thing or was this not? So this ESPN's gig was a one-year contract. Oh, so okay. So it was a... It was a um, regular employee, whatever, sure. um, just had like a time limit on it. Okay. Basically for, to help out with the redesign. Okay. Um, and I felt like that was uh, just a, a huge opportunity. Sure. To, you know, yeah. Go yeah, to yeah, a place yeah. like that. Definitely. Learn a bunch of stuff. Um, one of the goals was just be around people who like knew their shit. Yeah. Like all the management is great. Like they have tons of experience and I bet. Uh, you learn a lot from them. So. Yeah. That's like a top tier place to go work yeah, for. Yeah. Some of the, like the most, imp- uh, mm, best, not only the be- best people, b- but most, uh, successful people I've interviewed so far, like ESPN has been in their background oh, yeah. in this area. Anyway, yeah. it's like, they were like, now they all own their own agency. Like, <laughs> well, you know, know what Pete I mean? Like, has, yeah. Has some background with these. Yep. And then I worked with Tony Cashman over in Glastonbury and he okay. came from, from ESPN. Yeah. I know another guy who was an ESPN guy that like, I think he, he worked on like a, an Olympics logo a few years back, but you know, some of the be- well-known designers in the area that I've known yeah. have ESPN on there. On their resume. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah, man, that's cool. I mean, I think it's those big brands that kind of help help you add some legitimacy to to your portfolio yeah. and your in your I resume and yeah. I mean, that was, weight. I knew it was only a one year. Yeah, but I felt like it was worth like the risk and um, sure, you know, leaving something that wasn't so temporary. Yeah, um, just to have ESPN, uh, you know, in my bag and just like I said, be around those people because I knew they were. Oh, great. So cool. What, uh, what else do you, uh, sorry, I don't check my thing. <laughs> so what else do you do for, for design? Do you do a lot of like, um, uh, logo and identity stuff or is it mostly, like you said, uh, web and yeah, print or you kind of jump at everything at this point? Yeah, it's mostly just web, um, like redesigns or I'll do, uh, landing pages or blog redesigns okay. and then usually I'll code them out. Gotcha. Yep. So you're a developer or? Um, I would say, uh, so <laughs> it depends who you ask, I yeah. think, because like I would say I'm a front end developer, but okay. I don't know some of those things that like 
a true front end guy probably would know. Okay. Like JavaScript. Yep. They usually know that pretty well. And sure. I'm, I'm, I would say I'm a beginner at gotcha. something like gotcha. that. But I know other like jQuery is like another sort of uh, uh, HTML, CSS, like manipulating language sure. that I know. Yep. So, um, yeah, I would say I'm maybe not a true. Like I said, it depends who you ask, but I would say I can. I it's can hang with them. <laughs> it's so hard, though. I feel like... Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's my mind. I'm I'm so much better at the you know the front end, the visualization of things. Yeah. Than the actual coding itself, and I feel like I'm so far behind. That's like not even worth <laughs> learning. I took a couple of grad courses, like you know, I, I know HTML, CSS, but then I t- what did I take? I took um, uh, PHP, mm-hmm. and I took a, a couple of courses like that, and that was just like, whew, yeah, over my head. Yeah. Once you like <laughs> PHP, like the server based stuff. Yeah. I don't know any of that. It's, it's hard. Like I can, you know, mess around with WordPress because WordPress is all PHP e, and yep. get to know how to change things. Right, there, right, yeah. That's about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can get in and like manipulate things, but I can't like try to build something from scratch. It's, yeah. And I've, I don't even think you really need to. In it. Like, You don't, I guess. I mean, there's ways around it, right? Yeah. And there's always someone you know who knows all of that. Sure. Like a goal of mine a couple of years ago was to learn all of that so I can eventually build uh, like a web app. Yep. And then I started getting into it. And it just just sucked a lot of my time. So yeah, <laughs> I was like, I'll stick with with what I know for now. Try to get really good at that. Right. I think it's funny because a lot of people I talk to are like, oh, you got to find a niche. What's your niche? What's your niche? I'm like, I'm so right. broad. Like I'm more, you know, I can I do the more print based. I can do some web stuff, and yeah. then I'm getting into this like audio visual and video and yeah. After Effects type stuff. But kind of like everywhere. Because I don't know where, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I want to be able to work for anybody and do anything. Yeah. I don't want to like pigeonhole myself into something that might be obsolete in 10 years. Yeah, exactly. You so, got to like open yourself up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, who knows? I mean, the next thing that comes out, who knows what it's going to be. But at least if you can design for the stuff that's out now, you most likely will be able to design to that too. Mm-hmm. It's a matter of knowing the, the specs. and the Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like watch, you know, like Apple Watch. Yeah. So everyone's trying to, you know, build their apps for for the watch for like a two inch screen and oh god <laughs> that's really, crazy like yeah. what what are you gonna put on there yeah it's just well, I mean, what can you put it's on? just optimizing the space for like that quick i don't know gesture or something. Yeah, yeah, know, yeah yeah i don't know because i don't i don't mess with the watch but yeah i don't have the watch either i don't know if i'm ready for it like i don't need another thing <laughs> like giving me notifications i already have my phone my computer like I my hear that's, ipad that's like <laughs> the from the people i know who have it they say notifications. That's like the really their go to, like what they use it for. But like, when you use your phone for the same thing? Um, yeah, I guess maybe if your phone's in your pocket and you don't want to take it out, yeah. it's really just I don't know convenience. Or your maybe. phone dies constantly after you've had it for about six months. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. That's funny. Yeah, but the cool thing is, I one of my uh, someone at ESPN actually was showing the um, something they figured out like the night before, and they were they were holding up their phone. And like shooting video, and you can watch it on the watch. No way. Which was kind of cool. Yeah, kinda that's creepy, pretty, but kinda yeah. Cool. I I haven't even seen one. I know like I think a guy I work with has one, but I haven't even messed with one. I don't even know what it looks like. Yeah. I'm too damn busy. Third, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't need it. Maybe <laughs> maybe V two or three, yeah, but uh, another thing I gotta spend hundreds of dollars on and yeah, an update not, every year. Yeah, they're definitely not cheap. Oh man, that's so funny. So what else you been up to? Um. Besides, uh, you know, trying to get your own gig going, um, what do you do outside of uh, outside of the design? Outside of design, kind of keep the, uh, the creative juices flowing. Uh, well, you can see where we are now. I got uh, like four guitars in here, so yeah, man, I'll definitely try to keep up with that. Um, yeah, I used to play a lot more. Now it's not so much because I have just more going on, and sure, like I don't know. I feel it, I get distracted, so. If I pick it up during the day, you know, it could be five minutes or it could be an hour. So gotcha. I try to avoid that. Um, but yeah, I'm actually like I've done a couple of ceremonies. Okay. And I have one this month, uh, later this month. So I've been trying to pick it up a little nice. more lately. Do you like write your own music or anything or do you just no. jam out? I uh, used to like back in high school and college days. Oh, I would yeah, try yeah. To, I would try to uh, come up with stuff. I would never write like lyrics. Sure. But just... Uh, like melodies or stuff like that I would try to do. 
But that'd be helpful even in like GarageBand if somebody wanted like a video and they wanted their own like custom theme music for yep. it. You could probably assemble something, no? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I have the the gear for sure. Uh, just have to make sure I have the ability. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I mean, there's so much stuff now. Like, I, even with this podcast, I had to use, um, you know, some like canned music from GarageBand. Yeah, yeah. And um, it, there's it's funny. There's like some weird thing on the internet. Um, if you use music on YouTube, like obviously, if you use copyrighted music, you're gonna get you're gonna hit yeah but there's these like these companies that like have like these crawling crawlers or whatever robots that just look and they look for music and they somehow they are a parent their parent company owns the rights to every song ever recorded even stuff that's in like public domain (laughs) so like they'll go find like okay so like this maybe the song that i'm using for this podcast they'll go find that original song or something oh. like that and they'll buy it and then they'll hit people gotcha. and then shut down your channel. It's like, it's whack. That's yeah. That's definitely bullshit. That yeah, <laughs> totally. Like there's even like one instance where this guy had a video f- like this. He worked at NASA and he put up this NASA video and it had music from NASA that they had and somehow they hit him with some copyright yeah. infringement. He's like, how? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I think that there's, um, there's like technicalities, right? Where you can have, uh, like three or like two chords that are the same, like back to back. But if it's three chords for like a certain amount of time, mm-hmm. they can hit you on something like that. It's like, I heard when a bunch of this stuff is going on, when, like right when it first started, Yep, I know there was like something where, you know, it was a certain amount of time. Like if it was five seconds in it, had two similar chords or something they can they can wail you and yeah there's a bunch of different ways that they can get around it that yep you think you're f- you're clear and yeah you just got to steer clear of it you get like, served and yeah it's <laughs> weird it's it's totally weird yeah because there's actually one um i learned a hard way because uh, i interviewed a guy a buddy of mine uh tim wangersman he's an artist in hartford and he's also in a punk band so on his episode i i used his music uh, on the podcast yeah. i thought that'd be cool and they hit me i was like <laughs> you can't use this as copyright. I'm like, hey Tim, I use your music. He's like, oh yeah, well we sold the digital rights oh, to somebody, geez. and we have like the rights to like the CDs and out al- like records and cassettes if we make those like physical copies. Okay, but we sold the digital rights, and he's like, I don't know who owns that. <laughs> oh, so like, th- literally, this company could own it. I'm like, they're buying this most obscure music, like this like obscure crust punk band from Hartford, like. Really, I'm like I have like permission from the drummer. Like <laughs> that's crazy that they just, that they found it. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I thought so too. Yeah. But I think there's a, yeah, like a time limit because I know I'd used it before and I only had like a quick like ten uh, to fifteen okay. seconds and then I did a full like thirty seconds yep. and then they nailed me on uh, that okay. one. Probably so, put a flag up on that. Yeah. One like, well, do the next time. Assholes. Yeah. Like, that man. That totally sucks. But it, I mean, think about how many videos are on YouTube. Like billions. Yeah. At this point, I mean, even if they hit you for like five cents or something you know what i mean like they can get yeah right they can make their money back real quick I'm yeah sure. and that's the, the the thing is they can tap if you make any money or ad revenue off of that episode oh, they, they take, take a percentage it. Or something so do you think about that. like any music that's out there that's copyrighted yeah and it's i think we have to get into that business yeah like some <laughs> like slimy way of like stealing two cents for every yeah 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 like every tweet somebody puts out is yeah, right. somehow copyrighted yeah i wrote that yeah <laughs> the guy who came up with ariel or helvetica should just crush everybody yeah right <laughs> no kidding <laughs> jesus so um you're pretty big with social media and stuff like that i know i was following you on when you were with your other agency before espn yeah you did it a lot of like social media engagement a lot of like yeah that type of stuff so before like when i Right when I got out of school, I was all about Twitter. Okay. Um, that was, like, my jam, bit pretty much. Like, I was learning a lot. Uh, it was cool to sort of engage with other designers and stuff. And Hold on. I'm going to have to cut you. Okay. All right. We're going to we're gonna, we're gonna lose it. Okay. All right. We'll come back to Twitter. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. We were talking about, like, Twitter and social media and such. I don't – it's funny because, like, when we were in school, I don't remember – so, I mean, like Facebook was just sort of getting big, yeah. but not I'm ne- not nearly as big as social media is now. now. You know what I mean? Like, 
I like check that stuff like once a day. And now yeah. it's like, <laughs> it's, you know, it's, it's the iPhone and the it's so, smartphones. Yeah. Like they having it in you your pocket. Immediate Constant. To, constant. Yeah. All the time. Like I've like, like you were saying, what were you saying? You were talking about Twitter, how like you were getting into that a little bit. Yeah. Like right when I got to school, I should have started it probably during school because there were so many useful like, sure. people and, yep. and resources out there. Um, but yeah, I started using it right out of there and right out of school and just felt like I learned so much. There was, I had like a million tabs up all yeah. the time yep. uh, trying to figure stuff out. Um, and, uh, just people re retweeting and oh, like yeah. mentioning and I was sure. like responding to that and right. it was, uh, you know, my first hundred followers and then first like 500 and thousand and I was like, you know, committed to this thing and then, yeah, yeah. uh, I don't know what, what it did, but I think at one of the agencies, uh, they were pushing it a little bit more oh, Okay, and that's maybe when I was like, eh. I don't feel like doing it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 You know? Once it becomes like you have to do this. Like, yeah. I don't No, I don't want to. Yeah. 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 So, uh, so there was for one of the agencies, it was all automated. Uh, okay. They use like gaggle, sure. um, which okay. is basically like you connect a bunch of uh, accounts for companies and then one person tweets and it goes out to, to all of them. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. I use Hootsuite. Yep. Cause I, 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 it's funny. I didn't really get the value of Twitter and stuff like that. Like I, I get Facebook. Facebook is like, it's the only way you can contact people now. Yeah. Everyone's on Facebook. Nobody yep. answers their phone. That's how we hooked up. My mom is on Facebook. I mean, uh-huh. my whole family is on yeah. Facebook, but, um, as far as like trying to get a hold of people for the show that I don't know, mm-hmm. I use Twitter. Yeah. <clears throat> Cause like once you tag somebody, you throw something out there they're, they're obligated to either say like no fuck yeah. off or they're like oh yeah sure yeah and you know they saw it yeah yeah know? exactly <laughs> yep so um i use it's funny because even like people are like oh why do you use twitter blah blah blah. i don't get what it's for it i always explain it. like facebook's good for like contacting people like you know within yeah. your actual circle people you actually know mm-hmm. and then twitter's good for contacting people you don't know like yeah. experts in your field of any whatever exactly. it is you yeah. know what i mean yeah it's a great way to like find articles and blah blah blah. Um, but on the flip side of that, if you start emailing people, there's uh, there's an app out there called Sidekick. Okay. Um, and I did some work for them like a few years back, but basically they um, they're like an email service sort of. Like uh, a so type, it's, type of thing? Uh, no, so I'm I'm explaining it the wrong way. Oh, so okay. it's uh, an add-on for Chrome or Outlook or. Apple Mail or whatever, okay. and basically you install it, um, and when you write an email, you hit send, and when that person opens it, it'll let you know. Oh. And when huh. that person clicks on a link that you had in the email, it'll let you know. So, like, it's a really good, like, maybe sales tool. Sure. Or just, like, when you're in a group email and you send out a, a blast and you're like, um, you know, you're not getting any responses, but you right, know right, right, everybody right. opened it. <laughs> right. So, it's... Uh, it's a it's a cool way to kind of see how Track. people are like interacting with your with your stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> with your, with your stuff. No, are you big into like SEO and all that? Um, I used to be a lot more, but now it's like it's it's super hard to keep up with what's Google doing now. Right. You know, like before it was like you should only have one H one on a page. Um you know, have your target keyword so many times. Yep. And now it's like with HTML five you can have um, from what I've I've learned or what I've heard is like you can have multiple H ones okay. tags. Like that's just an example. Okay. But like that's something I would have never done like on my own. Okay. And unless someone kind of steered me in that direction, because I guess it's just another way, and Google doesn't penalize you for that stuff like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, yeah, there's there's just so many things that that just change like on a monthly basis. Right. It's hard to keep up with. What I like about um like social media and like stuff that's kind of evolved since we've left school is like, uh, it kind of takes thing, you know, the stuff we did in school was like, oh, you're designing a logo and then you're going to apply it to something. But I think what I like about all this connectivity in social engagement and SEO and data is that, uh, it allows us to kind of track what we do Yeah, in like, you can connect with people and it, it almost like, like, <clears throat> Remember in school, like everything had to be like slick and super polished and perfect. I feel like that's n- not always the case anymore. Like certain things, obviously, like certain yeah. um, clients 
they're going to want like a super slick website. Mm-hmm. But then if you do something like a social media campaign, maybe they want it to be a little bit more personal, a little more oh, rough, right, yeah, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. video that's like looks like somebody shot it on their phone. Like yeah. it doesn't have to be like exactly. a full scale, like perfectly lit production that like you paid a hundred thousand yeah, dollars to produce quick. anymore. Yeah. Quick something. and easy. People don't have the attention yeah. span for like, and it's not worth the money to like, I, I even for myself, like I did like a couple of videos when I first started this whole thing and I, and I like lit the background yeah, and got the yeah. lights and all this stuff and like nobody watched it. <laughs> Any of them. Yeah. So then I started just doing these quick little 30 second sh- uh, videos with my phone. And then I was getting traction. way more, yeah. way more. Yeah. Because, you know, people want to see something that looks real. You know what I mean? And yeah. I think a lot of, there's a lot of big companies even that are trying to do that. And I even talking to like Pete over at Digital Surgeons, it's like a lot of those big companies are trying to figure out how to get more personal because they're so big. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So, um, I don't know if I can actually talk about this, but ESPN was working on a way for like the reporters and um, like news anchors to basically produce content and on the fly and post it to their the site. Okay. Um, so yeah, they were like definitely in that boat. Yeah. To get things a little. I more. think that's the way a lot of things are going. It's just interesting, and I think it's kind of neat because, <clears throat> um, especially you know working on your own, you know, the, the, trying to get that type of work where like. It's just about getting the content out yeah. that people will engage with and stuff like yeah. that. See, I cool. think that's my problem. Uh, <laughs> like, I've wanted to start, like, a blog or yep. something sure. like this for a long time. And I think the issue was that I wanted it to be, like, pixel perfect. And yeah. And I had to think the whole thing through. Right, like, right, right, right. I could never do Like, one of them... Um, I thought it was a great idea, and I did, like, five design revs on it. And exactly. I, yeah, never, yeah. I never well, launched. Well, it. well, yeah, that's the thing. Like, and that's why, like, my blog looks like dog shit, and I'm like, it's not like. So even in my like, I, I did it for the Quinnipiac course, and they're like, "Well, you're a designer. I expected this to be more designed." Yeah. And I'm like, "Well, I could have spent, I could spend years on like finding the perfect template or theme or the, like tricking out a website." and never produce any content. Like yeah. you can make the best website ever and nobody fucking goes to it. Yeah. What does it matter? I'm more concerned about putting up what I got and getting content out and driving people to yeah. it. And like you said, like with the data and that's like the most important yeah. thing. Like you, you can see what get, works, what doesn't work. Yeah. You have to design. Like I'm a big believer around, I guess, designing around the data. Right. So Yo, like, yeah. Um, if this page sucks, if it's not getting any visibility, either you have to change it or you're not like, you're not presenting the content correctly or right. something's off. You're not or, driving people to it. Yeah. You're not, your headline sucks. So or like clicking if you on use it, something you're... like Hot Jar or like uh, Crazy Egg where they do like the heat maps and stuff. Okay. Um, yeah. If no one's clicking your contact button, you got to change that. Sure. Right. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Or your main CTA, like you've got to just change it because you know it's not working and without that technology, yeah. you would have never known that nobody gave a shit you know right 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 and I, I that's the part too that i like uh, with like all the data now it's it's measurable you know yeah. like you can you can pinpoint anything mm-hmm. and be like it's om- i like it for like you know i uh, one of my jobs they were kind of freaked out about it like oh, uh, we don't want to pay for this but then it's like it's ammo for designers because then you can be like well i made all of my uh, design decisions yeah. based on the it data you do your job boom better. like so who cares if you don't the, need the executive it. likes blue right. because well, the it, audience doesn't <laughs> like blue they want right. red it That's removes the subjective yep. sort of uh angle off right. of it so people can't be like i don't like like you said that color or yeah well, like nobody that. cares what you like you know it's not about you right <laughs> so if it's getting the conversions if it's getting the the eyes on it and it's performing then definitely yeah that's all you need to convince a boss right a right 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 or yeah whoever it is c-level people and a lot of times it actually works pretty well because a lot of times, you know, the people that are, are cracking the whips are the ones that are, they're counting numbers and looking at data. Yeah, anyway, that's all so. they care about. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Growth and conversions, all, conversions clicks, is huge. eyeballs. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Numbers is, is all they care about. And we care about like more than that. Why are you right? using that typeface? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. That's funny. For sure. Definitely. So, um, what was I going to ask you? What do you think, uh, what do you think you want to go with this, your little, uh, gig here? You want to build like an agency or you want to work solo? Um, do you have plans like that or are well, you going to take Well, the it? immediate plan is to convert to full-time 
yep. in this place. Um, I think I've always toyed with the idea of like going full time freelance sure. and yeah. solo. Um, but at this time, I don't think I would get enough work like okay. full time. Sure. Um, it would be. I just have. I would have to set up like monthly, uh, sort of uh, recurring plans rather than just like one and done. Yeah. Things so yep. I'd have to push like get the monthly or yearly revenue in. Right. Than, like, sure, I'll do this for X amount. Right, 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 right. Then we're done. Yeah, and um, I never hear from yeah. you again. So, like, one of the gigs, uh, one of the side jobs I'm on now, like, she reached out um, and was like, hey, we just have some, like, simple things, um, but it might turn into, like, more, sure. um, more, like, regular work. So, um, there's always... And that's a that's a bigger company with a marketing department and a budget. So I was like, okay, that yeah, sounds, yeah, yeah, that yeah. sounds fine. So um, try to leave those opportunities open. Yeah, sure. definitely. Those are that's like the sweet spot when you can find like a good company that has like a marketing department, yeah. budgets. Yeah, they have like a decent amount of work. That's who you want. Like, yep. and you usually know. you give them your hourly rate or your your price, and they never. I've never had an issue with people balking or. Like, yeah, it's always like the small guys that have yeah. like no money. Yep. Like w- every dollar is like means so much more to like a bigger company. Yeah. So like they're gonna make you work for every dollar yeah. that you charge. Like a them. typical project like that, I uh, I think is like a logo, business card, letterhead. Yep. If you're getting those, just like stop taking those because you're gonna you're gonna slit your wrist before you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're not gonna get paid. Anything, right. So. Like at the end of it, you're like, I made like three bucks. Yeah. An hour. Yeah. On that job. Yep. And I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to start somewhere, I guess. If you're yeah. Or they change it. You know. Yep. Like You you give them something that they pay for, and then you like you see the final product somewhere, and you're like, oh, that's not what I did. Right. Like, yeah. 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 They, they changed like so they added a bevel to it. <laughs> like in Photoshop is really bevel. Yeah, <laughs> drop shadow mm. on a funky background. Yeah, what so stuff like that. So yeah. I try to s- steer away from those. Like anytime I get them. Yeah, it's Unless funny. It's like a friend, then it's then it's hard to right to do. It's o- it's funny because like uh, situations like that, I'm almost like I'd rather have like total control and make no money than like you pay me like shitty money and in 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 murder me <laughs> with edits. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. I'm like all right, I'm gonna do this project. Don't pay me anything. I'm going to do everything and just don't mess with it. <laughs> yeah. And, I, and up until this point, like all my side work has been uh, like side, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so there wasn't much, <clears throat> I don't know. There wasn't a whole lot of like, I didn't have a lot of issues with whatever because it was just extra money. Right. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Kind of. But even so, like the past two years, year and a half maybe, I've had really good experiences with with like clients and oh, cool. side work. So it's been it's been good. You just gotta find them. Yeah. <laughs> Have you been freelancing for a while? Um, I've been probably doing a lot more in the past like couple years. Every year I say I'm not gonna, I'm, you know, I'm not gonna do it, and then like, you know, I'm in a lot already. So. Uh, more than usual, so you know I just have to put that much more away for the end of the year to right. account for for gotcha. all those ten ninety nines. Now, um, how do you go about getting freelance work? Is that is it coming to you, or people finding you, or are you going out and in, in, um, in marketing yourself somehow? Or it's it's a lot of referrals. Okay, so uh, a couple of them. Um, one of them was a venture capitalist company, so they had all these portfolio companies and so they referred me to one of them they're uh, th- like portfolio companies and then they reach out to me um, and then how I got that first one was another referral from another gig that I had um, and so it's really a lot of referrals that's cool yeah that always works well because you know referral is, is, is better than anything it's um, a lot more um, it's a lot less measurable but it's almost the same because that person always says, Oh, you know, this guy told me to reach out. Right. Yeah. 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 I know where you came from. Right. Like, like, like think about yourself. You're going to hire a contractor. You're going to probably most likely going to hire somebody that a friend or a family member refers to you versus like a guy who drives by and you happen to catch his truck or his flyer or something. Yeah. Like referrals are always 
the best way to go. It yeah. kind of like lowers the barriers. Uh, qu- right. quite a bit. You don't I have to like. do as much research. It, this helps you. And if yeah. someone you know and trust like had a good experience, and most likely you're gonna do. Yeah. So yep. It's always better. I think definitely always you know, better than yeah. anything else. Because then you you know when you're trying to go after work and you have to like build like a portfolio for a specific client. I don't know. There's like so much stress going into that. Yeah. Like you're trying to go after a sports client. So you're mm-hmm. like fill your book up with a bunch of sports shit. You spend like 40 hours on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and who knows? Like you might not even get a call back. You right. know what I mean? Right. Like, but definitely referrals are the way to go. It's a matter of just getting those, getting those referrals. You know what I mean? That, that pan out. Yeah. I'm telling you, that's how I got a lot of the work that I have now. Awesome. Or even this gig, because that was off a referral originally. So oh, really? I reached out to them when I was like in the job market and they were like, oh, we might have something for you here. So. Oh, cool. That worked out. Yeah. So what do you think? Did, what do you think the biggest thing you learned since school? Like, Do you, do you think a lot of, a lot of you lear- what we learned in school applies uh, uh, out in the real world or do you? So I actually go, like I've went twice back to Central to give talks to the okay. senior class and it's been, like I think it's great. I think yep. it um, gets me out of my element a little bit because I don't really speak, right? So, um, But when I get in there, these kids... I feel like they don't know anything, and every like year I go back. I've only gone back twice, but like th- this this year I went, mm-hmm. and I was just like more dumbfounded at like what they don't know. Really, you know. So I felt like I could just say anything, and <laughs> um, I don't know what like the curriculum is now. Okay, uh, there like what they're concentrating on. I know they're moving a lot towards web and mobile and apps and stuff okay. like that. Yeah. But um, just the way, like when we were in school, right, sure. um, they were like, well, you should be making 40, 45 when you get out of school. Yep. And I, and I was, all right, all right. That's what I should expect. Right. So right. I get a gig. It's not that, you know? So like things like that just aren't what they are, you know, until yeah. you experience yeah. them. Yeah. Right, right, like, right, right, right. <laughs> I thought I was going to get 40. I thought Nike again. was going to call me when I graduated. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was well, going to be working for Google. Like, I only have this one portfolio, but I can send it out and, you know. Yep, yep. <laughs> like, because we, we had to make that one yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that shit. So, I had to punch. So, I made, like, a booklet. Yeah. Right? I think everybody made a booklet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wanted this, like, specific kind of binding. So, I had to buy, like, a planner that had like the wire thing that I wanted. Right. And then take it out of that. That was like a thirty dollar planner. Yeah. And back then in school, oh yeah. Thirty bucks is like yeah. two thirty packs. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was a lot. And then I had to get the paper, print it. Then I had to get this hole puncher and punch the damn hole. There was like thirty holes on each one of these pages. It was ridiculous. And I had to punch hundreds of holes <laughs> for one book yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> that I showed probably twice. Uh, yeah, probably twice. And then that was, that was it. That's hilarious. <laughs> Cause I, work. like, um, <clears throat> Matt had a similar story where he was like, he, he went and had his book made and I think he spent like 50 bucks or something having it, putting it together and having mm-hmm. it whatever bound. And when he went on an interview, um, actually at digital, surgeons they were like oh can we keep this and he's like oh yeah i heard he's yeah, like I yeah go ahead <laughs> <laughs> he's like oh god i'm make, make, he's like i'm making five bucks an hour or whatever at yeah. stop and shop yeah. he's like i was like i gotta but work a sure. whole day to pay for that <laughs> <laughs> but yeah you can have whatever you want yeah just, he's like god damn it i better get this job <laughs> <laughs> yeah right <laughs> yeah can, now can i have my uh my portfolio back that's my so one, funny my one way mine was pretty cheese dick but i was also like in the middle of like central design Oh yeah, so at you the had time, a bunch of other stuff so, going on. Yeah, I was like, whatever. Here. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. It was pretty stupid. He gave me this tiny book. It was like the size of an iPhone. Mm-hmm. I was like, because nobody, so you can throw it in your pocket. Yeah, I okay. don't want to make this big old book. I don't know. It was stupid. We are back. It's a hot day today in Connecticut. <coughs> They were canceling schools. It was so hot. Yeah, I remember that. But, Indoor uh, recess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. They ca- it's funny because I feel like they cancel school for everything these days. Oh, like, yeah. Cold it's too days, hot. It's hot raining. Days. It's snowing. Yeah. It's like, man, I don't remember 
school being canceled that much when I was little. And now you can just work from home. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing ever gets canceled. No. But I'd still rather work from home. Yeah. It's so much better than sitting in a car. It's <laughs> miserable. Yeah. My commute before wasn't too bad, so that wasn't horrible. But now that I've been... How's your commute now? It's uh, pretty minimal. Yeah. <laughs> you you got to get up to Boston now? No. I'll probably have to go maybe once a week at most. Okay. But it wouldn't be wouldn't be every day. Boston's a cool town though. Yeah. I always liked... Uh, Liked it up there. Are you a New York guy or a Boston guy? Boston guy. Oh, okay. I think uh, I've only been to New York a couple times. Okay. Or not, and I think New York's a lot easier to navigate, but I think Boston's just a, like, I would much rather live in Boston. Gotcha. You know? Cool. I, I went to a comedian, um, the hell's his name? I forget his name. He's on like VH1, the metal show. Jim Florentine. Okay. He's like, he's like, He's like, I like Boston. He's like, I'm from New York, but Boston, Boston's way cooler. Cause like, he's like, New York guys after the after like a Yankee game, they go and they put diamonds in their ears and they go dancing <laughs> at a club. He's like, Boston guys, they they go out drinking yeah. and they puke and they get arrested <laughs> and they get into fights. Yeah. Like, he's like, that sounds way cooler. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dancing. I just want to dance. Right? Yeah. Put on my perfect brimmed hat and go yeah, dancing. My bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> So funny. So we were talking about how you um, go back to Central and and given some goad. Did I say goad? You goad? you've gone back to Central. <laughs> oh, to give uh, lectures to students and stuff right. like that. So, like, what do you? What kind of stuff do you tell them? Or what would you tell like uh, young designers really, coming up? Really quick side note. I like uh, that I just remembered from before that you said niche instead of niche. You I'm sorry. Know, you have, no, no, no. I like niche. I don't think niche is the right thing. You know, we're in America. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a niche guy. Okay, not a good. Niche guy, so. Yeah, I'm not a niche. Anyway. Whatever. <laughs> niche. I, uh, I mean, I meant to say something right when you said it, but uh, it didn't come <laughs> up. And I just remembered, so. Uh, it's funny because it reminds me of like when I was at an agency, there's a, um, a woman um, I worked with, the creative director. She was also a baker. She owned a bakery, and she pronounced things like, oh, that's like a macaroon she's like no that's a macron oh. i'm like yeah okay i'm not <laughs> yeah. No, that's a macaroon dude yeah yeah <laughs> i like um are you gola instead of arugula uh, <laughs> i think that was just a stupid thing by me i think i i still i'll <laughs> pronounce arugula arugula yeah arugula i think i was just spelling it out i think i'll, I'll i'm gonna pronounce it that from now on there's actually a restaurant in west hartford called arugula really i'm gonna be like you want to go to argarula <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, central talks. Um, I don't know what exactly the subject was, but yeah, basically. Yeah, I was. I asked. Um, so you go talk to these these youngsters, and uh, what what do you tell them, or what would you tell a young uh, designer? Like, what to, you know, what's good advice for for young people um, these yeah. days? Well, yeah. So both years, I told them to like get on social media and get on Twitter especially yep. because I had such a good experience with it. Um, and you know, I, I'm like, all right, who raise your hand if you're on like dribble, if you're on Twitter, if you're on like, uh, um, like I'm not on something dribble. like Behance. No dribble. No. Do you have uh, to be invited or something yeah, like that? Right? I just had it. Nobody invite. invites I could have got you. Next time I, next time I get one, I'll, uh, okay, cool. I'll, I'll draft I'm, you. That's I'm what it is. <laughs> um, <laughs> But like I, I tell them like you know raise your hand if you're on this 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 and yep. like one maybe two people you know yeah and so I really try to push get on Twitter because that's the easiest um, and you can just follow uh, you know great designers sure. thought leaders um, even things that you don't think you're interested in yeah like um, like there's a ton of guys um, like uh, Gary Vaynerchuk yep oh yeah. I, I watch his stuff all the time. That guy is, is great. And yeah. he has, you know, nothing to do with, you know, design or UI or. Right, right, like right, that, right, right. But, uh, he's just a fun guy to watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. He knows yeah. his shit. And, yep. you know, he's he's all about. He's very inspirational about just like getting up and getting shit done. Yeah. And being productive. Yeah, and he's pretty vulgar. So he's yeah, 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 to yeah, listen yeah. to, you know. Yep. Um, but he does a ton of that, like, really quick content. Yep, like yep. He'll just he'll just do, like, a five-minute sure. thing really quick. So. Um, things like that, you uh, you kind of get exposed to, and you start like like reaching in other places, and sure, and, like you just learn a bunch of stuff. So, uh, I definitely try to get them to get on Twitter, uh, dribble, just because 
the earlier you start, like the better you are because it's to a lot of people that's their portfolio. Yep. Um, and you can kind of tell because it says views and likes and comments okay. and everything right there. So like if if you like your employer or something is looking and they like this and they realize they're in agreement with like a thousand other people, you know that's that's a great thing. Those are like recommendations, sure, pretty much. You know? Cool. So um, those networks, I definitely try to try to uh, get them to get on. Okay. ASAP. Yeah, definitely. That's funny. I don't know. I don't know what I tell people. It's. I think it was hard, man. When we left school, it was like what two thousand nine. The economy was in the shits. I remember I, was, <clears throat> I took the first job that came along. Mm. Yeah, that's, I think just that's be, what everybody did. Yeah, because it's like, well, they're, you're going to pay me to use my degree in design. Oh, okay. Exactly. And it's funny because now looking back, I think if I having the if I had the opportunity, I probably would have chose more wisely. And probably picked somewhere that was a little bit more digital focus versus print focus. Okay. Um, but, you know, uh, one of my last uh, interviews, the guy was like, don't look back. Don't think about what could have because you have, all the, you know, you have you have plenty of time to, you know, you can't change what happens. So you yeah. might as well think forward. All right. What can you do to get where you want to be? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's a good attitude. To yeah. Me too. I think that's a... That that was a pretty good piece of advice. It's cool because every time every show I've done, I've learned something cool from somebody. Everybody has a little piece of information mm. that's been like helpful. Like talking to Matt, he showed me like a whole bunch of different like websites uh, for inspiration. Yeah, and um, even tools that you can use online, uh, Graphic Burger, mm-hmm. that you can pull templates yeah. to like drop. Uh, a design onto like a lo- you do a logo you, you could drop your logo in onto like shirts and mm-hmm. bags and a website so that you can present it and it looks slick yeah um you know and the other people like the guy from onyx a- adam von guten uh gutkin had some really good advice as far as like starting a business he's almost like one of those gary vanderchuck types yeah so um check that one out yeah 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 uh his episode is up now but uh he's actually coming out with a book that oh, looks pretty nice. cool about like starting a business like a moonshine or one yeah, of the first like distilleries go. in Connecticut. Yeah. Like it's interesting, you know, like it's funny, like this whole podcast, the biggest thing is like actually sitting down and talking to people. Like how often do you get to sit down and talk to somebody face to face these days? It's like yeah. never. It's always like a quick like text or Facebook message yeah. or whatever. Yeah. It's funny. Like my wife's like, Oh, you should just change it to like the lost art of conversation where you just talk to people. Mm. And it's funny. Cause like, the people I've had on the show are like super cool. Like we're like homies after that. Yeah. And it also like, as far as like networking, it's a great networking tool because like somebody like I interview like Paul Pita. Yep. Who, or, or Dave, um, not Dave. Wait. Is it Dave? Cena? Pete? Pete. Yeah. Yeah. Pete Cena down at digital surgeons. Like I, I would be terrified to bring my book down to them. Yeah. But like, I flip the, the the script and we sit down over a couple of beers and right. I interview them. Like, and then by the end they're like, Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. And they're yeah, like yeah. texting me afterwards and emailing me like yeah. directly. It's like, Holy shit. This well, is that's, cool. You know, that's, that's <laughs> kind of taking the Gary V thing and, mm-hmm. and running with it, you know, giving everything out for free. That's his, that's his thing. You're, you're not really doing that here, but you're giving a, you know, a, some sort of service of just like letting them relax a little bit. Or well, even that like, about, you being on the show and just talking, I mean, that's something. Yeah. Like even like um, um, when I had Nate Nate Moore on, he was talking about his his clothing line. Mm-hmm. He used his episode to ap- oh yeah to apply for like a grant to k- keep his clothing line going. Like it's content. Like it looks it it's a, an established thing. Like oh, I was on a podcast. Like yeah. it, lo- it looks impressive. Like yeah, it's something you you've done something different. You spoke to whatever your passion was you know what i mean yeah, so definitely. i think that in a, that in a sense is kind of cool yeah but i don't know it's been kind of fun kind of interested to see where this thing would go yeah me too i'd love to see yeah, <laughs> like how long have you been like doing this since like april okay so like six yeah. months be awesome to see where it is like in another six months you know? yeah i think my, my goal would be to like you know ride ride this thing to see uh if either this leads to work, the aim was like, okay, if I'm going to be a, a freelance designer, this, the podcast is a great way to differentiate myself from other designers mm-hmm. and promote myself yeah. and network. And that could lead to more work or 
the podcast itself could become work if like it got big enough where you got sponsors and paid to do mm-hmm. it, which would be awesome. Like if I got paid to go drive around and like drink talk beers to and people, talk to yeah, people, yeah. it'd be fucking dope. Pretty, like, <laughs> yeah, pretty sweet setup. <laughs> yeah, it'd be awesome. You know, but we'll see. That's the dream, right? That's yeah. the new. That's the new American dream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, re- I think I've read too much like four hour work week and stuff like that. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where yeah. it's like you know create uh intellectual property yep and figure out how to not work for the man you know what i mean yeah like uh you ever read uh austin cleon's um uh steal your work or what's it called yeah steal like an artist no i haven't read that that's one. a great one i'll have to check that out i try to i've only read it a couple of times but i try to read it like once a month it's a yeah. huge like inspiration sort of steal like words. an artist yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll check that a, one out. It's an interesting concept on like where good ideas come from. Yeah. Well, it's funny cuz like where good ideas co- you never know. Like most time it's in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> well, cuz it's like the last place or when where, you like you don't have a a a pen and a pen. Uh, yeah, pen. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Or like 2 in the morning, yeah. 4 in the morning. Just, your mind's going and Well, they say in the shower it's because it's like the last place on earth that you're not like interrupted by some sort of communication or message. Okay. It's like the only time you're only, you're alone with like your brain Yeah. and you're just like the water is hitting your body yeah. and that's it. And that's why like your, all these fluid thoughts come to you. I feel like that's how I go to sleep a lot. <laughs> just yeah. running my mind of the thousands of things, you know, and then I go to sleep and I wake up and uh, I on. forget it all. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think when my brain starts going crazy, I can't fall asleep. Yeah. That's why I try to like get as much out during the day as I can. So then mm-hmm. I can sleep and then I'm like, okay, yeah, do more tomorrow. Yeah. I'm more like an early guy. I try to get up early yeah. and do a ton of work. Not, no, not you. Not me. You're a late night guy. Oh yeah. And uh, not a morning person. Oh whatsoever. no. I would probably be late night if I didn't have the kids. Yeah. My yeah, kids I'm wake sure. up at like six and yeah. my daughter didn't sleep for like the first year. And then when she started sleeping, she was up at four. So when I say I wake up at f- four four thirty now, it's like I've been training for this That's for the last five years. <laughs> the earliest I've woken up in the past year has got to be like seven thirty, maybe. Oh my god! <laughs> and that was like once or twice. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> yep. You had mentioned a couple things during the break, like some cool things that you also look at for inspiration. Uh yeah, there's uh, there's just a ton of ton of stuff. Um, where do you uh, where do you look for stuff? Um, well, there's all types of inspiration. Right? Yeah. There's like visual, there's, there's, uh, like, uh, psychological, um, there's, I don't know, just knowledge out there. I sure. Think. And just in general, uh, lately it's been, uh, you know, Envision. It's a prototyping. Yep. Uh, yep. Yep. Tool. Um, so they have a blog, I think it's just blog.envisionapp.com. Okay. Um, they have some great stuff on there. Um, more along the lines of like UX and mobile friendly stuff. Sure. But, uh, they have a bunch of great articles. Um, also go to get uh, team Treehouse. You know, okay. Treehouse. They're like a online school for anything like design or development. Okay. If you want to build an app, you want to learn how to design a website. Like they have courses and, and teachers and okay, stuff cool. that uh, you can sign up for. Uh, they have, they also have a great blog. Um, there's also uh, like awards with three W's. Um, oh yeah, yep, yep. There's uh, there's a bunch of those like CSS like sites. Like okay. CSS Light, I think, is one. Uh, Side of the day. Uh, oh, Side of the day is is part of awards. Um, I like Line Twenty Five dot com. Okay. Um, every week, this guy uh, Chris Spooner. I think he's a UK guy. He puts out uh, sites of the week. Okay. And they're all, there's usually like five or six, um, but they're all usually really like trendy. They're really up to date. They're really clean. Um, just good stuff to look at. And sure. then like at the end of the year or throughout the year, he'll do roundups with more. Okay. Um, like, I don't know, uh, like 30 websites with like um, big background images, something like that. Okay. Right? Cause that's something that's trending. So, um, or like for the year, he'll do like the best websites of 2015 or 14. Okay. So, um, line 25, line 25. Line 25. So that one I've been following for a while. Um, what else is there? There's code, uh, related ones like code drops is great. Um, they do a lot of tutorials. Um, 
they call them like blueprints. Um, okay. But basically they, you know, they do something cool and show you how to do it. And they give you the sure. tools for it and everything. So you can kind of learn how to do that. Um, CSS tricks is another good one for like CSS, JavaScript, jQuery okay. kind of stuff. Um, that guy, Chris Coyer, you should watch some of him, his stuff. He's Chris Coyer? Chris Coyer. He's a, okay. he's a cool guy. He's a very energetic and like fun sort of guy. Okay, I'll uh, check that out. Cool, funny, uh, fun to listen to. Um, what else is there? There's, there's a, just a bunch of stuff. Yeah, uh, there's a... <laughs> that's just a shitload you just ripped <laughs> off right there. Holy shit. There's, al- there's, a, there's always like Smashing Magazine and yeah, uh, yep. Inspired Mag and... Yeah. Um, now, do you do a lot of uh, personal projects aside um, from work? Did if I get bored... Uh, I will. So I just like redesigned my website. Um, it's just a one pager right yeah. now. And like next, when I have some downtime, I'll redo like the work page. Okay. I want to make it a little more like um, case study ish. Okay. Rather than just having you know tiles. Images. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Even though there are tools for that, which I might use. Like um, I forgot who makes it. Uh, Orman Clark from pixel something he okay. makes something uh, a product called dunked okay um and it's basically a really clean portfolio okay um that they host and you have full control over like looks and stuff so huh. but they do everything for you so you just you can make it pretty much look like your current site if you know css and okay. then you just pump in the images and the links and it's huh. really good. So actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I might do something like that temporarily <laughs> to nice, kind of nice. get that out of the way. I'm always doing like dumb shit. Like I want to do a tight, a hand lettered piece. So I'll do a hand lettered piece. I yeah. want to do like an illustration. I'll do an illustration. Like yeah. Things that like don't necessarily have like a functional purpose, but it's yeah. just like, I want to do these because I'll see <laughs> something and be like, yeah, that inspires me. I'm the hand lettering that. thing right now is just blowing the fuck up. Yep. And I'm definitely like a wannabe hand letter. <laughs> like I want to like, because when I was young, like drawing, that's all I did. Yeah. You know? And then I don't know when I realized I couldn't make any money off like art, like fine art and yeah. drawing, yeah. I, like, you know, took this path, but sure. it kind of brings the drawing and design. Like, yeah. Together. Like Nikita did, is huge on that. He's like pumping out oh, so yeah. much. Yeah. Work. He did some awesome yeah. uh, anagrams and Ambr- yeah. Ambergrams. Yep. Right? <laughs> uh, I tried to get him on the show. Yeah, he he's does not, a lot of freelance too, I think. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all he does. Yeah. Yep. He's out in like Brooklyn. So I Okay. Oh, you know, I think he has that. He's like part owner or something of an agency, is he not? Or? I'm not, you know, I'm not sure. I want to say maybe, or maybe not now. I but don't know. I know he's doing a lot of work and it's yeah. it's pretty sick. Yeah. That's cool because yeah. I saw Will, you know, Will. Yeah. When I was at the talk and uh, I was talking to him for a little while, it's always good to, to see yep, those guys, yep. you know, and Jim was there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So that was cool. And uh, Eleanor. Yep. So Sue actually reviewed my capstone. I had to review oh. my, my podcast nice. just because why not? Yeah. I, I respect Where, her. What her, is she doing now? She's down at, I want to say the Art Institute in like Virginia Beach or uh, something. Okay. So she's back uh, teaching in some capacity you know the when when like before when you said like what's um i don't know what you, what have you learned most out of school or whatever mm-hmm. like i don't know a lot of times i tend to think that i didn't need school or we didn't need to go yeah you know because there's so much information out yep. there now but the one thing that i think and i think this was like a a class talk so you might remember this too yeah um it was like her her idea of like just ask why all the time yeah you know ask and questions like it's red why why is it red? right yeah uh it's this big why is it that big like there's always a reason for yep. something even in, like the logos with like you know the projection lines and like mm-hmm. this angle matches up with this and stuff um and that's definitely something that stuck with me so that, that was the cool thing about her she i thought she was really inspirational like the stuff she would say she, i always left her classes like yeah i'm gonna kick so much ass right and she yeah, she couldn't help but to be like that. Yeah. You know? I like one of one of her coolest things was like um you know, if you're passionate about anything, like try to get a design job in that field. Like for yeah. that's why for me like I'm drawn to like you know, fitness and I'm you know, trying to get into like the beer world because mm-hmm. like, you know, those are the types of things I was always into. Yeah. Like to, to so to like get like a beer label or package would be an awesome job right. or like 
that's why I do tons of stuff for like my CrossFit gym and other CrossFit gyms in Hartford. Yeah. Just cause like, to me it's fun. Like I don't know. I do it for fun a lot of the times, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I think, think that's, that's important. A, yeah, definitely. I think that's it. Cause if, if you really enjoy uh, what you're doing, you know, like I've done, I did insurance brochures for like three years. It's like, I don't give a that's fuck gotta, about insurance. That's suck. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's just like, you know, after a while, it's like, if you don't love it, man, it's, it's like especially that. with insurance with like the copy, it's got to be so particular and yeah. sure it changes yep. like minusculely right. you know, or like very small tweaks like y- every that or like the, the, you put together one that's like for super rich people like and it's all like legal speak like how to hide your money and set up your <laughs> estate and yeah. avoid tax traps and like you have to have a PhD in like financial law yeah. to even understand this and then like why does this layout suck I'm like I don't even know what they're talking <laughs> about you're I just like referencing a, a bunch of like legal proceedings <laughs> yeah it's like uh, we did a site when I was uh, at one of the agencies and it was a medical billing Okay. company and yep. you know all the copy on that was just way over everybody's head yep you know it's and very dry nobody knew what that was going on and we were trying to be like you know this is the legibility and readability is very low you know you should um you know try to ease up the big words and stuff yep. like that but you know based off their research they were like no that's this is what people you know want to see they want to know that we can talk about these, these right really plus in healthcare there's like they can only dumb it down so much because yeah. after a while it's like well we can't because yeah. you can't dumb down only to a certain level when you're talking about right health it's like certain things are called certain things right. like <laughs> yeah sorry yeah <laughs> just the way it is because actually i worked at a hospital and like we had to do that like dumb dumb a lot of the material down it's like yeah. you get to a point where you actually can't mm. you have to like you know you're talking about heart attack like <laughs> no other way i can say that <laughs> yeah like, yeah yeah <laughs> But I don't know. It's interesting. But I'm glad you're working, man. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. I, 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 uh, I, I'm trying to get Jack on the on the show too. Yeah. He's definitely. all the way down in Norwalk. Oh, it's a haul. Be a haul. Got to get a couple sponsors for that. Yeah, yeah. Somebody's <laughs> got to pay for my gas. But yeah, what is funny. uh? He's been he's been uh, pretty active, right? Since yep, yep. He's he's designing some agency down that way. Cool. I guess there's a bunch of work down there. But yeah, there is. It's like, far. Uh, uh, not Stafford. What's the uh, Stanford? Stanford. Yep. And Norwalk and yeah, like that area is pretty, um, pretty uh, saturated. I think WWE's down there. Yep, yep. They are down there. I don't know. I'd rather work at ESPN than WWE. <laughs> There's also Lego. Lego Lego's and up Enfield. in Enfield. Yeah. 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 That'd be they sweet. Had, uh, yeah. I was looking at them earlier this year. Yeah. They're, yeah. I know they're looking for people. Yeah. Did you no, see the movie? Some, I didn't. The movie's awesome. Maybe I should watch that if yeah. I were, if I'm going to apply. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty sweet. What were you going to say? They, um, you, they, they're they looking for people, but... Uh, I think they were looking for some uh, like back-end people okay. when, I, when I was checking them out. Oh, okay. I think they were looking for, last I saw, it was like project coordinator type stuff. Okay. So, I don't know. That's another big company I always forget yeah. about. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. Again, Enfield. Right, you forget about. But yeah, those are like the biggest ones. WWE, ESPN, Lego, GE, and then GE. all the insurance companies. And Subway sorta. somewhere around here, too. Up by Yukon. Subway's in, sh- in deep shit. I know. They? I know. Oh, man. Well, they cut ties. So. Oh, okay. They're yeah. all set. They're, they, yeah, they they saved themselves. That's fucking weird. <laughs> that whole scenario. Good you know, God. I walked into Subway. There's one right down the street. And, yeah. Uh, like, I don't know, a few weeks ago. And I noticed they had a ruler. It was a 12-inch ruler. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they would put the bread up to it and make sure that it was, you know, yeah, longer. Yeah, yeah. and I'd never noticed it before. And I was, I asked the guy, I was like, Oh, is that why, um, it, did you throw this in after, you know, the whole, the whole like 11 inch, uh, sub thing yeah. blew up and he's like, Oh yeah. Oh yeah. With these were in here like next day. So, <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't notice it until like just a few weeks ago. Oh really? I, I was, I, fig- I was figuring they're going to have a sign that says like, we don't support like child porn or <laughs> something. <laughs> <laughs> and they make the name a sandwich after, yeah. the, you know, the opposite of it. <laughs> <laughs> we only bone adults. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, trying to think of like a, a, oh, man. a sandwich that would actually make sense. Boneless <laughs> yeah. chicken. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> good, good God. I'm yeah. sure we could, we could figure something funny out. Yeah. Uh, Jesus. With enough time. (laughs) 
a couple more beers, man. Okay. Yeah. They'll be hilarious to us. Right. Not to anybody. No, 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 no. <laughs> Good God, <laughs> shut up. They're, they're probably tuned out by now. Yeah, definitely. So, Bobby J. Kane. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's where I'm at. That's where you're at. That's Everywhere. the website. BobbyJKane.com. Yep. Twitter. Twitter's the same. Bobby Twitter is Bobby J. Kane. Um, Dribble is Bobby J. Kane. LinkedIn is Bobby J. Kane. The only thing, so I didn't come up, I didn't have a Instagram for the longest time because okay. Bobby J. Kane was not available. So <laughs> I refused to create an account until like this year. So <clears throat> Instagram is like bobby.j.kane. Gotcha. Well, you but, should be uh, like Bobby, like spell out J, like J-A-Y maybe. Kane or something yeah. like that. But everything is, is Bobby J. Kane. Cool. All right. Well, hit up Bobby J. Kane for your web design needs. Definitely. Everyone. Cool, man. Well, I guess we can wrap it here. All it's right. been a good one. Yeah. Good to catch up with you. Appreciate you having me on. Yeah, definitely. Anytime. Yeah. Let me know if, uh, you know, you need me to shout something out. I'm, be- I'm all for it. Definitely. Definitely. Sounds good, man. All right. Well, that is the Crazy Creative Podcast. Thanks for checking it out. My name is Steve Raboyne, and I am looking for creative people. If you do cool, something cool, if you're a designer, artist, writer, musician, baker, I don't I don't really care. I'll uh you want to talk Baker about would be would be cool. Yeah, whatever. You, you know, like if you're doing something cool and you want you want people to know about it, let me help you tell your story. Come on the show and uh I want to hear what you're up to. And uh that's it.